One of the things business owners need to be concerned about uh, throughout the year, whether it be on a, a yearly basis, a calendar year, a financial year, or uh, on a periodic quarterly basis of 12-week cycles, one of the things they need to be concerned about is their sales plans. And one of the tools that we use here is uh, this diagram behind me, which is the tactical sales plan. And in stepping your way through it, you can make this as complicated as you like, or you can make it as simple as you like. What it does do is it gives the creator of this, or the, or the uh, gives the person ownership into the processes that will help you identify what's needed to help you achieve the goals that you're going to be setting. So in this example here, we've got the tactical um, beginning of the plan, and we might have a look at this and say, well, okay, at the beginning of the plan, and down here we're at the end of the plan. At the end of the plan, we've got a target of $500,000 that we want to be achieving as our sales target. So we might start the beginning of the plan, let's say we've got zero carryover sales, so we don't have any sales that are coming in, except for what we've got as work in progress. Now this part here is the work in progress, and we might have currently work in progress of let's say $100,000. And we might have currently in progress, that is we're currently physically having deals which are out there waiting to be signed off. So this is work in progress that we've got signed off and is inside the company and we're doing that now. And this part here is currently in progress, this could be deals in progress. And let's say that this is also $100,000. So we've got um, work that we're ready to do that's totaling $200,000. But our goal down here is uh, $500,000. So obviously what we've quickly identified is that we've got a $300,000 gap. And what this tells us as business owners is that we need to be contacting more prospects. So how many more prospects? What are we going to do to contact them? Do we have our databases? Have the databases been segmented? Then we're going to need to make some telephone calls and the purpose of the telephone calls is to obviously get some face-to-face -face meetings. And the goal of getting the face-to-face -face meetings is to get a number of deals. Now, depending on your product or service, you will have a, a lead and lag time and all businesses are different and you might need to, sometimes you might only need to contact one or two prospects to get a, an order. Sometimes it might be in the tens or the twenties or possibly even the hundreds to get yourself onto the next area of building that relationship and getting a telephone call. And then you want to be segmenting down or drilling down further to get face-to-face -face appointments and then putting your deals together and presenting and then that becomes an order and that's the sales cycle. So this is a terrific tool to get ownership from uh, the people within your company, or it could be just yourself, to clarify your thoughts. And what you're looking for now is, how do I implement this into, the, into a business? Well, one more thing that needs to be considered before you implement this is the time that it's gonna take. All of these elements here have got a num an amount of time that they take to identify the prospects, build the database, do the mail outs, to make the telephone calls, how, how many uh, can you physically accomplish in a week? Can you do uh, five or 10 phone calls in an hour to, to when you're contacting your prospects to follow up your mail outs? Uh, how many face-to-face -face meetings is it gonna take you to convert clients or to get deals presented to them? All of this takes time. Now, you've got a gap of $300,000 in your business. You need to fill that gap but it's all going to take time. And that's time that you need to be leading up to to make sure that you achieve your targets. The next process that I add into this, but we won't go into it much in this video, is this thing called the um, 24 month marketing plan. And what this shows is the elements that we need to do to get these to happen. And over the next 24 months, when are we actually going to do this? And by laying it out on a piece of paper, 
you can then start to put in some numbers and this will help you identify the, setting the budgets. So now you've got the dollar value budgets, now you've got your time allocated to this. This is a great tool to help a business owner identify what needs to happen so their sales targets can be achieved. It's a tool that I use, it's a tool that my clients use, I've had great success with it, and I hope you do also.